This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. Automatic transmission fluid and filter change. Pull the hood release lever located underneath the steering column. Lift the hood safety latch. Raise the hood and support it with the prop rod. Apply the parking brake. Chalk the rear wheels to prevent the vehicle from rolling. Then raise the front of the car and support it on jack stands. Remove the drain plug and allow the fluid to drain completely. Install the drain plug and clean off any fluid that has accumulated around the drain plug opening. Tighten the automatic transmission pan drain plug to the specified torque setting. With the fluid drained completely and the drain plug marked A reinstalled, remove the transmission pan mounting bolts then remove the pan and gasket. Once the pan has been removed, carefully clean the gasket sealing surface of the transmission to remove all traces of the old gasket and sealant. Drain the fluid from the transmission pan, clean the sealing surface and the inside of the pan with solvent, then dry it with compressed air. On most models, there will be a magnet on the bottom of the pan. Remove and clean it and the pan with solvent or brake cleaner then place the magnet in its original position. Do not be alarmed if there is some fine metal sludge around the magnet when you first inspect it. This is normal between fluid changes. Remove the transmission filter mounting bolts, then carefully detach it from the valve body. Clean the exposed port on the valve body, removing any old sealing material. Install a new O-ring onto the filter then lubricate it with a light film of transmission fluid. Install the new filter onto the transmission. Install the mounting bolts and tighten them securely, but avoid over-tightening them. Make sure the gasket surface on the transmission pan is clean, then install a new gasket. Put the pan in place against the transmission and install the bolts. Working around the pan, tighten each bolt a little at a time until the specified torque setting is reached. Don't over tighten the bolts. Lower the car to the ground. Remove the rear tire chocks. Remove the transmission fluid dipstick. With the vehicle on level ground, refill the transmission with the proper type of new fluid. Add the same amount of fluid that was drained. With the transmission in park and the parking brake set, start the engine and let it idle for a few minutes. With your foot on the brake, move the gear selector lever through each range, pausing for a few seconds between each interval, then back to park. With the engine still running, check the fluid level with the dipstick. Add more fluid if needed to reach the correct level for the correct range on the dipstick. In this case, it should be filled to the upper section of the cold side. Add the fluid a little at a time and be sure not to overfill the transmission. Also, be sure to shift the selector lever through the gear ranges between additions before checking the level with the dipstick. Insert the dipstick fully into the tube. Turn off the engine. Check under the vehicle for leaks during the last few trips.